store on 24 is located on Route 24 in Lewis. All right, here we go, 740. Good morning to everybody jumping on our Facebook Live this morning. Hello, good morning. Way to hear this email. Dear Bill and Jess, nine years ago, my childhood boyfriend came back into my life while I was in a current relationship. Okay. Um, we hung out a couple times, and we ended up hooking up and sleeping Gosh, together what? on three different occasions, which was actually the first time we'd ever slept Done together. Anything? Okay. Yeah, even though he was my childhood boyfriend, whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. But we ended up hooking up on three different occasions. <sighs> my current boyfriend at the time was my first. Mm-hmm. Okay, and I guess this guy was her second, even though he was she was with him in For the past. The first time. Yeah. yeah. Well, after that, I found out that I was pregnant, no. but not knowing who the father was. I had my daughter, got married to my man. I guess she stopped messing with the, okay, you know, childhood boyfriend or whatever. Got married. But last year, out of nowhere, my childhood boyfriend called and wants a paternity test. And he wants to know. Yeah. Uh, and he wants to know if he has a nine-year-old daughter. And my husband has no clue. What? Please, I need some advice. I don't have any. <laughs> <laughs> this is just... This is something. Bad. This is bad. The dirt that's done in the dark will always come out this in the light. Just FYI. Bad. Talking about nine years later. She thought it was done. She got away with it. It's done. I wonder, like, her gut feeling, like, in her heart, if she feels it or if she knows, or, like, who does the daughter look like? Have you guys seen, God. there's a uh, a movie on Netflix, um, the new Kevin Hart. Oh, yeah. What was the name it's of that? It's uh, called uh, True Story. True Story. True Story. Watch it. Watch it. But basically, the reason I bring that up is because, you know, just kind of relate that to this email. Okay. Because just when, you know, it's Wesley Snipes and Kevin Hart. Just when they think that their big situation is over. Oh, that everything's done. Yeah. Yeah, because they, they, ended, they ended up dumping a body. Let's just put it that okay. way. Okay. And this is part of the show. All right. Yeah. But just when they thought, like, oh, finally, we're, we're done. Clear. We're in the clear. All of a sudden, one of Kevin's fans has it on video. He said, I followed you to apologize, and I was filming. Stop. Now that's a whole nother Gosh. situation. So let me just let me just repeat that. Again, it's probably like a bad example. but No, I see what you mean, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's done in the dark Gosh. will come out in the light eventually. Eventually. And this is nine years later. Ugh. Nine years later. What is she going to do? I, well, that's... What is she going to do? What should she do, y'all? 302-858-5117. Again, nine years ago, my childhood boyfriend came back into my life while I was in a current relationship. Childhood boyfriend, we hung out. We hooked up on three different occasions. Had sex. Okay? Mm. I ended up pregnant. And I honestly didn't know who the father was, but I dropped my childhood boyfriend, said, look, I'm in a relationship, whatever. I love who I'm with. Nine years later, now all of a sudden he said he wants a paternity test and wants to know if that's his daughter because he yeah, wants to be in her life. Daughter. Yeah. You know, and I mean, what if it turns out to be his? My my husband doesn't even know. Stephanie texted wow. in, take a DNA test with the childhood boyfriend first, then go from there. If the baby is your husband's, then take it to the grave. But just remember, this could all still come out to your husband because you still cheated on him and this could still blow up in your face. Mm. Nicole, you've been lying all this time. Just tell him you did uh, one with your husband and then it's his baby. If he believes that, he's probably going to want to see it. Mm -hmm. Oh, I threw it away. Well, I don't know. Uh, let's Gosh. see. Bryn, stop. Respect your child enough to let her know the truth. 
Mel, I know that's right. What's done in the dark will always, always come, come to light. light. Yes. Oh, what I said. Gosh. You are correct. Oh, gosh. Uh, Karen. Karen. Men have the right to know, but your daughter is the one who needs to know who the mm -hmm. real father is. Why you waited is ridiculous. That's why a paternity test needs to be done when the child is born. Men need to wake up and always get one due to vindictive women like yourself. I don't blame him for wanting a test. And if it turns out that it isn't your husband's, he should know immediately. Get the test done now. Your husband don't have to know unless it turns out different. Own up to your behavior and take responsibility. Ike. Mm. And when you find out, please do uh, the run of shame for us to enjoy. Thank you. And then he sent in a Maury meme. And now we wait for the results. Yeah. Uh, Bristol, a perfect example of why kids should stay in school and not be out playing house. Right. Mm. Tanya says, this should have been handled way before now. Let's start with you. Shouldn't have cheated. Then you should have come clean before you got married. Uh, your now husband and daughter deserve the truth because what if your daughter gets ill or needs blood and it wasn't, you know, your husband's and you don't know where old fly by night was, LOL. You knew who was the better man and why he's your husband and not Mr. Unpredictable. Yet your decisions can and possibly will cause, um, oh, geez. yeah, the disinterrogation of your family. Honestly, uh. has always been the best policy. Honesty has always been the best policy because you reap. The seeds you sow. Mr. Unpredictable don't want to be the father because if he did, he wouldn't have been nine years ago. He just wants to cause disruption in your life because he can. But you gave him the ability to do so, and I'll bet money if he's a father and causes your marriage to end, he won't stick around. Goodness. 359. Get the test done so you know who the father is because you need some kind of medical help for your child. Uh, Love says, do the home paternity test, and if she is his, you will have to woman up. Do what's right and accept the consequences for your betrayal. N.A. texted in, do the at-home DNA test with the ex to find out for sure before you ruin your marriage. Because opening up, you know, Pandora's box can't be closed. So the at-home test, I don't know anything about it. I've never done a DNA test right. at home and all that stuff. But I'm assuming it's like a swab. You swab your I mouth. I guess. All right. So you just go to the daughter and just say, I need to swab your mouth. Yeah, I guess so. I mean, I, I don't know. I mean. <laughs> Wait until she's asleep and put the Q-tip in and yeah. all that. And then you hide it. Like a COVID like, test. Like, what are you doing? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You, Make you sure saying? you get the what DNA test. The don't mistake it for the COVID test. Okay. <laughs> All right, so or the pregnancy home, test. It's an at-home test. and You can get a pregnancy test from the tree. <laughs> yeah, you can. <laughs> um, and then what? You're going to mail them off somewhere? I don't know if you meant... Well, I know... Uh, you trust these at-home tests? Well, I mean, what are they... I, mean, I don't know. If, if that's, what are they there for? I don't know. You know? Just do it. What if it's false? Yeah, well... You just never know. If you just go with the false with result then. at-home results. Nope, go with the false <laughs> result. These at-home tests. There goes Dr. Jess. Come here, honey. And you're swabbing the inside yeah. of her mouth. And Mommy, what are you doing? Playing doctor. <laughs> Wait until she's asleep. Playing doctor. <laughs> 302-858-5117. <laughs> what should old girl do? Let us know. 749. Here's...